So today we're continuing the day in the life of an injured runner. Today I'm just going to be doing some different things that are still improving me as a runner and hopefully giving you guys more ideas about what to do when you're injured. This is a part of my morning routine that I really enjoy. I journal 10 things I'm grateful for, 10 dreams that I've made happen in the present tense. So 10 dreams that I want to make happen, but I journal them in the present tense. And then lastly, I focus on one goal that I want to achieve first. This journaling practice is something I do every day, no matter what. I did it before I was injured, but I'm finding now that as I'm injured and as I'm in this place to where I can't run and I'm not doing something every day to get me closer to my goals in a running sense, it helps me align with those goals, keep them fresh on the brain, and also think of the things I can do that aren't running that are aligning me with those goals. A goal of mine is to run the Leadville 100. Writing that down every day, keeping that fresh on my brain, remembering that that's a goal and that this right now is just a season and giving some perspective to the situation is really helpful for me. So I start my morning every day with my tea, my journal, and uh, some time with the creator of the universe. So now that I have done that, we're gonna head out to early morning yoga. It's comical how inflexible I am but I'm not gonna be more flexible if I don't go. I love starting my day out with yoga. It not only gives me a reason to stretch for an entire hour, but it also gives me a great strength workout for my arms and my core especially. For this yoga session, we did the vinyasa flow in hot yoga form. I also worked up a sweat and got my heart rate up just a bit. I've had more time for yoga since I've replaced my run with a yoga session. However, when I get back to my usual training schedule, I'm certainly going to integrate it into my training plan at least once a week. Well, I am awake, alive, alert. That was absolutely wonderful. <sighs> and now the sun is coming up, so we are going to head to the bike loop and get in some miles on the bike. I haven't done it yet, so this is like my test ride to see whether or not the knee is okay with it and how the hip feels on the seat, what have you. I'm not really sure how it's gonna go down. I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat, yeah. I was ruled out with no bail out on my own, all alone, left to bleed out. I just realized something. Um, I didn't charge my bike. If it's not charged, which I'm pretty sure it's not since I haven't ridden in a while, uh, I'm not gonna have any gears to shift. So that's fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Nothing but fun. trouble but it kind of came and went seemed like on the uphills that's what was the worst so I guess it's just pressure on that knee I don't still don't know what the deal is but it was good to get some turnover in and just get my legs moving at a quicker pace 
though I can keep them moving pretty quick on a walk. It was way faster turnover. So I like that. I might integrate it in as like speed work because it's kind of the same. And uh, yeah, that might work, might work. What I wanted to figure out today was whether or not this was gonna hurt my knee and or hip. That was definitely successful. On to the next thing. One other thing, my gears worked. I was able to shift. Hello. I'm gonna have a little snacky snack and then I'm gonna go log the two workouts that I did today and I will bring you along. I don't know what we have. Oh look, some carrots, cucumbers, and I think some, yeah, some hummus. I might have tie me over. All right, so after every workout, I like to come in and log it. This was the running log. It is now the fitness log and kind of injury log. So I come in here and just kind of log the symptoms I've had, uh, whether it's biking, I've been doing a lot of strength training, so how, the, how was the strength training session? Did I feel like I had energy, did I not? And then I, in my notes section, I always make sure and put what was going on with the injury. So do I feel like it was improving? Did it get worse with the bike? Did it get better? Could I not feel it? Is this a good workout for me? Is this not? That kind of thing. And then I log, instead of my run, I'll put up here, bike and then I will log the distance and all of that. This just helps me keep track of what my injury is doing. If it's getting better with what I'm trying out or if it's getting worse. And just like tracking my runs, it just kind of helps me see my progress or lack thereof. For me, it's not always easy to stay active as a runner when I'm injured. I prefer to run. I want to run. That's what I usually do that's my routine and it's shattered now so i'm seeking different forms of activity and different forms of fitness these are just two examples of some of the things i'm really enjoying right now biking and yoga but i've also done a lot of hiking i'm doing a lot of strength training stuff and i honestly love a good swim aqua jogging is not my favorite but i will do it in desperate times call for desperate measures so that will be another activity to incorporate into my training schedule, which isn't really much of a training schedule. I've also really enjoyed doing handstands and trying to do handstand push-ups. I'm not even close, but I'm, I'm working on it. To me, the things that are important are to find things that are fun, to find things that will get me out of the door, and just, yeah, things that are going to make my heart rate come up a bit and get the blood pumping through my body. When I stay active, it really helps me to stay in a better mindset, keeping the positive vibes going, just reminding myself that there are lots of things I can do. And it also maintains some of the fitness that I have had in the past and kind of extends that fitness. I'm not gaining any fitness right now. I think I'm probably more on the losing fitness side of things, but that's okay. Sometimes there's nothing you can do about that. That is all for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay active, have fun, do what you can with what you got, and happy trails.